Good day, welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Today we look at St. John chapter 3, verse 16. St. John chapter 3, verse 16. This is one of the best known verses in all the Bible. It states the gospel message so clearly and simply. Somebody would say to believe the Lord Jesus Christ is as if it's the ABC. That's how simple it is. It summarizes what the Lord Jesus has been teaching uh, to Nicodemus in previous verses. Concerning the manner by which the, the new birth is received. God we read so loved the world all manner of people all mankind god does not love men's sin or the wicked world's system but he loves people the people whom he has created and is not willing that anyone should perish this is the extent of his love and he shows it by sending his one and only begotten son Jesus Christ as an expression of his infinite love that he was willing to give this unique son for a race of rebellious and sinful sinners. A person must receive what Christ has done for him or her before God can give eternal life. He says it's whoever believe in him that they would not perish so a way has been provided by which all might be saved. But a person must acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And salvation, eternal life, comes through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone the one who went to the cross of calvary and bear or pay sins punishment the wages for our sin that the bible tells us is death the bible also tells us that the gift of god is eternal life so jesus christ must be accepted as personal savior and when one does this he or she is granted by God himself eternal life so as we repeat John three sixteen, because we know it let us remember how does God love he loves by giving and this giving is shown in the expression of his son Jesus Christ that he sent as a sacrifice for our sins. So when we look at the seven hours or the wonders of John 3.16, we are reminded of who God is and what is love is for lost humanity god the almighty authority the sovereign one so loved the world that his mightiest motive is that he gave his only beloved begotten son the greatest gift that whosoever the widest welcome believes 
in this son Jesus Christ can make the earnest escape just by believing. He says that one would not perish, but he himself would grant divine deliverance, deliverance from sin. So such one would not perish, but have everlasting or eternal life. This is a priceless possession that God will through his son Jesus Christ gives to anyone who believes on his only begotten son what he did for us by paying the price for sin he says now we will receive a priceless possession eternal life who is it who do not want to have eternal life which is jesus christ this priceless possession abiding in them god bless you as you choose today eternal life thank you again for watching and may god bless the u s a